Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're going to take a look at quarterfinal action from the Women's World Championship. We'll hop right into today with the scores from today's games, starting off with a 3-1 victory for Finland over Switzerland. Now this was a game highlighted by Finland's both dominance as well as undisciplined play. So when we look at it, Finland played a great game today. We'll stop there, full stop. They won, they got what they needed to do. But at the same time, they took a lot of penalties, as many as seven penalties today for the Finns. So when we look at it, who their next opponent's going to be with the U.S., they have to be very, very careful because if you take a lot of bad penalties, we saw it today in the Japan game, the U.S. is just ready and waiting to put pucks in the back of the net, and they have no mercy, and we've seen it time and time again. So we'll see here when, when we take a look at a team like Finland, what they're going to be able to do especially against a high caliber team like the U.S. They'll play not so much dominant, I don't think, in that next game. But if they can continue to play their sort of trap defense, their style where they're going to capitalize on U.S. mistakes, I think they'll play pretty well. And I would not be surprised to see an upset. But we'll preview that in just a couple minutes here. And then let's talk about Switzerland. So they'll be down to the placement game losing today. They played decent, I thought. They didn't necessarily play their best game. Uh, Andre Brandley yet again, stood on her head. So sort of hats off to her. She's kept the, the Switzerland in the game for as long as she could. And of course, finally, Finland broke through. 3-1 to one is your final in that one. And now let's talk about, in my opinion, the game of the day coming in. We had a, the quarterfinal preview with game day hockey the other day. And, and what we talked about is I picked Germany. I thought they were going to win. She picked Czechs. And, and it was one of those games where it really could have gone either way. We saw Sandra Abstreiter today stood on her head yet again. And it was 0-0 going into the third. And sure enough, there was a shot that hit the post. Whistle went. Goal scored. Goalie didn't think it went in. Everybody didn't think it went in because, of course, it hit the post. And so what ended up happening, they went to review, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, it didn't count. Then, of course, momentum is all in the balance, right? The Czechs just scored a goal. Meanwhile, Germany just got scored on. And from there on out, it sort of seemed like the Czechs were going to take the game. They spotted a quick one from the blue line. Lots of screens. I've never seen it. And then, of course, there's a bad penalty at the end with Denisa Kirozova taking a hit-from-behind penalty, which be, ended up becoming a major. This was about 2 minutes and 30 seconds left, which meant that Germany could score as many goals in that 5 minutes. Remember, 2.5 and, and then the overtime. So if Germany would have scored in regulation to put the game into overtime, they would have had that, that power play on in the overtime frame, which would have been very, very interesting. They did not score. Czechs take this one one to nothing, but it really was the game of the day. The Czechs looked really, really good. Germany played a great game too. Just both teams really couldn't sort of find that that fit, that finishing punch. Um, and, and I think when we look at it, right, Mirozova from the Czechs, uh, Katarina Mirozova, who was injured for the game, she's a big piece to that Czech team. And I think when we've seen it, she's skating now. So likely, you know, you get the day off tomorrow. You, then you play the semis against against the tough Canada team. She'll be a key factor if she can, is able to come back and play against Canada. Could be that that sort of next step to put the Czechs above Canada. Be a really interesting game for them. Czechs move on to the semifinals. Germany it gets not sent up. They're going to be playing in that placement game for to see if they can make Group A in the next year. And now let's talk about the next game between Canada and Sweden. And this was yet another great game, right? When we look at it, uh, it was a 1-0 game, 2-0, 2-1, uh, and then 3-1. And then it sort of looked like it was getting out of hand. Sure enough, Canada, yet again, we've seen it, has had problems playing the full 60 minutes. They take a little brain lapse. And sure enough, you know, the Swedes get a shot on net. Puck goes in the Canadian net. But what happens first? The refs bail us out yet again with a 3-2 to two goal. Gets waved off because the whistle went early because it looked like Mashmeyer saved it. But it was wide open. Whistle went. No goal. From there on out, Canada took the rest of that game by the horns and really never looked back. And it was just sort of, it sort of just rattled. You could tell the, the, the Swedes just looked off in their game from there on out. As well as another sort of keynote from that, uh, Marie Philippe Poulin took a sort of got a hit to the head. Uh, she gave it. Uh, it will be interesting to see if there's any further discipline there. I don't think there'll be much considering it was a two minute after a review, but of course, time will tell there. Uh, so Canada moves on to the semis. Sweden, unfortunately for them, the way Group B works is that they are stuck there for yet another year. Uh, when we look at it, right, that, that the top 
two teams that aren't in the semis play in the placement game. Sweden just not in that, right? They lost to Germany when they needed to. That would have been their way into Group A. Fortunately for them, they could not. So Group B for Sweden yet again, a really sort of surprising team, right? When we look at it, they're a solid, solid team. And if there's ever sort of a restructuring in the women's game, there's been a lot of calls for that. A lot of people sort of asking the WHF to change their system. Unfortunately, I don't see it coming anytime soon, but if they were to do that, Sweden is a team I definitely look at to sort of take that next step. They're a young team, lots to play for. We think back to last year, they took Canada to overtime in the quarters. This year, just just unfortunately not. Uh, the, the, the calls didn't go on their way. The whistles went a little too early for them. And that's your end result, 5-1 to one for Canada over Sweden. And the next game, I'm going to let speak for itself. When we look at it, USA and Japan, you can see the score tells you everything you need to know i'm just going to avoid the game entirely you can see it you know what the score is we'll leave it there now let's take a look at the news between uh, starting off with finland so penalty galore times seven seven penalties for finland in this game they got to be really careful especially when they go up against a powerhouse like the u.s that they aren't taking really poor penalties as well now we'll move on to germany which was abstanding today that was an abstrider joke ha <laughs> i know you're laughing but the thing about Germany, you know, that she, she's the one who sort of has to take the control for, for Germany. And Abstar has to be really good. When you look at it, Germany's a team that isn't going to necessarily blow you away on the score sheet. So what do you look for? You look for good defense, good goaltending. And then yet again, another great performance from her. They will look, uh, Germany will look to Abstrider in the placement round to see if they can get her into back in the group A. We will see lots of pretty good hockey I think still to be played in this tournament as well for the Czechs they're facing their adversity now it's always a good thing when you're facing adversity early in the tournament so that way when you're playing against the powerhouse team and you go down anybody can take it 0-0 for a lot of the game today for the Czechs they played good hockey they stuck to their system they didn't panic and they played a full 60 minutes which was really really impressive for them as for Sweden too much caffeine today for the refs, blowing whistles way too early, which really was, in my opinion, sort of that turning point of the game. You know, Sweden had the momentum if they would have scored that, and I think from there it would have been a definitely a different game. And now lastly, sort of potential suspensions. I don't know if there will be. We're doing this right after the, the day's end, so updates haven't happened yet. Be sure to check us out on Twitter, on the fly 1515 for all the updates if there's any suspensions you'll you'll see them there so remember Denise Akirazova we talked about it off the top she might be one from the hip for behind as well as Marie Philippe Poulain for Canada is another one who I think could be suspended for a hit to the head that one was downgraded to a minor penalty so I think that's one thing that's going for Kirazova I believe will be suspended just because of the time that 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 the hit happened but nonetheless we will see there so moving along here to the playoff structure uh, the bracket, whatever you want to call it here. Starting off with, of course, uh, the, a big game coming up in the semis between the U.S. and Finland, as well the other semi between Canada and the Czechs. Remember, this is our updated bracket. And now we'll flip it right back over to the schedule for, t or not tomorrow's game, but the day after April 13th's game. Starting off with Germany and Switzerland. This is our placement game. Remember, the winner will remain in Group A. Automatic berth to the quarterfinals in the tournament for the next year. The loser will be back down to Group B. So big game for Germany too. Remember, they're trying to make their way into Group A as much as Switzerland is trying to avoid Group B. And Group, and group A is definitely an advantage in this tournament. To be able to play against and, and sort of gauge yourself accordingly compared to the other Group A teams who are normally powerhouses. We've seen it. You know, Sweden is a team that, in my opinion, could have beat any of the Czechs, Finns, uh, Swiss. But, of course, they're stuck in Group B. So they got stuck having to play Canada and the U.S. So... Lots to play for, especially for the placement game. That'll be coming up at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The second game of the day is the semifinals between Finland and the U.S. In my opinion, this will be a game definitely highlighted by whether or not Finland can play their style of game for the, for the full 60. They can play structured hockey, stay out of the box. Do not be surprised if a Finland upset in this one. We've seen them already play once. Finland held them really, really well. Would not be surprised to see an upset there. As well as a 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, your headliner between Canada and the Czechs. This will be an, another really, really good game. And, and once again, it'll always come down to the same thing. 
Can the Czechs stay out of the box? That was a problem the first time they played Canada. And can they play their structure for the full 60 minutes? If they do, do not count the Czechs out of this one. Canada should be scared playing the Czechs. They're a really, really solid team, especially if they if they get Katarina Marizova back. It might be over for them. So definitely stay tuned for that one. And once again, we'll sort of take one final look at the final rankings. Uh, this is the first set of final rankings here with, of course, Denmark and China both been relegated as well as Japan and Sweden, the 8th and 7th team that will be sort of in that final standings. Uh, the top five make it into Group A. The next three are Group B for the next year, and the bottom two are relegated, kicked out of the tournament, going back down to Division 1A, and the two Division 1A teams will be called back up at the end of the year. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really like consider subscribing, tell all your friends and comment down below your thoughts on quarterfinal action at the Women's World Championship. Until next time, see you.